Alright, what's up guys? So, we're going to review the WTD Trail Boss 225 and the Schwabi Rock Razor, the Addicts Compound version. Um, so, what you're looking at right here, this is actually when I got the Rock Razor. This is where I came to test them out, like almost immediately after putting them on. Uh, this little area, it's like this kind of parkish type thing, but there's this like the ground kind of has the consistency of like a baseball diamond for the most part it's flat there's no berms there's no gumps there's no crazy anything really it's just a bunch of windy trails like this and it's fun to like push yourself to failure on corners basically because it's got really tight corners not so tight corners long corners that you can hit really fast, some narrow corners, some fat corners. It has all kinds of stuff if you're the kind of person that's just interested in diving into the minuscule measurements of your bike, like changing your seat or your handlebars one tiny little bit to do whatever. Um, anyways, we'll we'll get going here with this video and I'll kind of explain some of the things that I want to explain that we need for farther in the video. Alright, so for this video, I put the, um, the trail boss on the front and I still have the rock razor on the back. And it's kind of funny how it worked out actually because of the rim that I have on the front. Um, it kind of brought up something else to my attention that I want to explain to you guys. So there's something about um, the rock razors that I read in a review where somebody was talking about um, a slide to grip. And that's kind of what I'm going to get into because I, I didn't really give it too much thought until I had bought the rock razors and really started tweaking around and trying to figure out like, okay, let's see how good these really are. I know in the next clip I get a really good shot of it. <clears throat> I want to break down the uh, angles of the tires for you guys though. Let's see if I can pause it right on the next one. So if you look closely, you can see that the back tire, I mean, it's tilted over, definitely, and it's biting kind of on the side of the tire. But if you look at the front tire, it's it's angled a lot more over. And we'll, maybe I'll wait till the next time. Break that down. So right here is probably a good one. So again, look at the back tire. That's again, it, it's biting in. It's it's tilted over. It's it's getting some grip in there definitely. But if you look at the front tire, you have far more of that tread exposed between the tire and the ground. So a lot of people don't pay attention to that or care or don't know or it's just not something that's ever going to matter to them when they ride bike or whatever. But when you start getting into 
wanting to be faster and how and why and how like there's a science to everything and that's part of what's gonna really make me go in depth and just two tires so all right now watch here in this next one this uh this slide to grip is what i'm talking about and this is what i'm gonna try to break down so look at that front tire that thing is mobbed over dude like it it's angled way over and if you look at the back tire at the exact same time, this is perfect shot for what I want to explain. So if you look at the tread pattern on the trail boss, you have a much more uniform tread. And by that, I mean, if you look at the center of the rock razor, which you'll see more later on in this video, but it's it's not as uniform you have very small tight space nubs in the center to keep you very fast rolling and then you have those big lugs on the outside and those lugs are actually bigger than the ones on the trail boss so and if you look at the trail boss again now the outside lugs and the center lugs they're i mean for the most part they're basically the same size and they're basically all pretty much the same space too except for a small gap in between the outer lugs and the center lugs and the point i'm trying to make is when you're riding on the center your center of your tires and then you want to roll to the outside and change the bite force like change actually how your tire is grabbing the ground the trail boss is uniform that's what i mean like when you roll from the center to the outside, it's basically the exact same bite the whole time, just less of it. You see what I'm saying? So your contact with the ground changes as far as like, yeah, there's less surface area touching the ground, but it's still the exact same bite. So it's more predictable. It's more, I don't know if you guys are following what I'm saying, but now if you switch that and you look at the rock razor you have and again i don't think a lot of people think about this or especially when they're buying tires or where they ride or what they're going to be using them for but your transition between the center of the tread and the outside of the tread is massive it's like two completely different tires so that's one thing that i I don't know if it's maybe it's just my opinion I say this but I would consider the Schwabi maybe like bumped up to like an maybe consider like an advanced tire or something I don't know but I mean it's it's a really good tire and we're going to get into that and exactly why I bought it but I want you guys to understand what I'm talking about with your contact of the ground everybody's worried about weight and I was too all this stuff and that's important that's a big deal but I think a lot of people don't spend enough time thinking that your weight between your bike and your body and this and that, all of that comes down to two points of contact touching the ground and that's your tires. So uh, if you guys stick with me, I'll try to keep breaking this down the best I can and explain to you kind of how I see it. So watch this, it'll slide and then bite right at that last second. That's that's kind of what I'm talking about, and that's what I seen, or I shouldn't say seen. I don't maybe I seen I no, it was something I read somewhere. But um it's kind of weird with these tires, man. Like you you have to put some trust in the tire and then the tire takes care of you. It, it, it sounds weird. I know, but like it's, it's different. We'll get into it. So first tire of the review, obviously trail boss. These came on my bike. Um, they're the comp versions, which is like the crappiest version, which I don't care because I don't, they're light and cactus is puncture everything the exact same in my eyes so um there's 
picture of the tire closed up. Here's the tread. Um, and I guess I can speak right now for a little bit about what I was talking with uh, your contact. So if you look at the outside lugs and the center lugs, I mean, you know, think about you're gripping in the center of the tire and now you're gripping on the outside. Of the, there, There isn't much change. You know what I mean? It's kind of the same, you know, it's just, you get what I'm saying. But um, my front tire, for instance, I'm probably going to leave the trail boss on now, actually, until I get a different front rim. And I'll tell you why. Even though I think the, the rock razors are better, um, my rim isn't going to be feasible for it. And yeah, maybe the next picture can show you. So my, this is the original rim that came on my bike. Uh, maybe we'll make another video about how this happened another time from a car accident. But um, so this is a 29 for width and the tire that I replaced it with is a 23. And that is 100% because I was impatient and I know how the bike stuff is and the bike shop I went to, they had one right there in my hands. So, you know, done deal, dude. Like, I was riding again that day. But when you change the width of, of your rim like that, you're changing not only the width of your tire, too, but you're changing the profile on the outside. And for the rock razor, like I was talking about earlier, you have those smaller nubs in the center and those massive lugs on the outside. So if that tire was on a 29 or 29 wide, like my back tire is and not a 23, it would probably be better, in my opinion, than having the trail boss on the front just because you're able to use the tire like it's supposed to be used and i, I believe it, it's a it's a rear tire anyway but for what i do i mean i don't it, it works good for the front too and that rubber is well i'll get into it later but on this 23 here you're exposed to so much of those small nubs that the angle of attack you have to have on your front tire is insane. It almost pushes your tire to failure, like to slide out before you can utilize that side lug. And unless your tire pressure is like, I'm telling you, like money, like spot on, it's it's not going to do like what the tire was designed to do. I mean, it's, it's going to work just like any other tire, but you're not going to get that addicts rubber compound feel that you want out of it when you're messing with the geometry of it by having a, a rim that's that narrow. So um, here's from their website. Uh, just a, some brief stuff about it. I mean, again, it's everybody knows what the trail boss is. Super simple tire. Yeah, we'll move on. So here's the uh, different tires you can get for this one. There's the TCS Tough Fast Rolling, the TCS Light Fast Rolling, and uh, the Comp Tire. Here, let me get the laser out so I can show you guys here. So this TCS Tough, uh, the TCS just means tubeless. That's WTD's lettering for saying this is a tubeless compatible tire. I think that means tubeless compatible system. Um, but as you can see here, like you don't have very many options for the trail boss anyways in the 225 version. And again, I have the comp one here, so it, it was the, definitely the worst one, but that's, I'm not knocking the trail boss to your dog, you might get to that. Um, here's some of their technology for these tires. And I want you to know, if you get the, uh, the 29, or the 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 2.25 version you're not getting this tri-tech compound you're you're not getting this flash guard you're not that's not how it works um i'll show you that you for the 2.4 and the 2.6 uh you start getting into some of that but uh for the tire i have 
very basic. Um, very, again, very basic. Here's another one. Uh, this is the light fast rolling version. Then tough high grip. It's not even in that version. Then you have the tough fast rolling. Um, I wanted to touch on these reviews here, just because, like, just because. So, I probably have, like, I don't know, like, 22, maybe 100 miles, somewhere in there, uh, 2,000 for sure, on the trail boxes. And, I don't have to check my odometer, maybe, like, 1,300 or so maybe on the uh, rock razors so with that said like I'd like to comment on this like rolls well dig poorly and loose uh, these tires came with on or these tires came with a new on a I'm okay yeah this guy can't that's why I can't read it because he's not spelling right um, full suspension mountain bike if it got trail bosses Dude, you're, you're not talking about like a, a downhill bike or anything. You're talking like probably a cross country full suspension bike. So rolls well, digs poorly and loose. I mean, it's against what you're getting out of the tire. What are you, what are you looking for? The front corner, I can't even read this guy's stuff. The ability of the front to corner, the ability of the front to corner well under wet conditions is also special suspect okay so dude no tires like corning well under wet conditions i just want to say too i don't work for wtb i just i'm reading these reviews and like they, they don't make sense anyways very difficult to remove and install dude go buy a rock razor and you'll be changing that shit to five stars i promise you uh, these trail bosses are so easy and this actually this review is on the 225s I just showed you. And I don't know. So the tubeless ones, maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll give them that credit. But the comp ones, man, dude, I feel like they could fall off if you tried hard enough. All right, so we'll go to the, the two fours and two sixes. This is where you start getting into the better options. And I've actually looked at these. Like, I might kind of maybe want to try out a two four trail boss because. I don't know, man. I like trail bosses aren't bad tires, guys. That's that's part of the thing I'm trying to get to in this video. Uh, the two fours and two, or actually, I think only the two fours. You get the tan walls. So if you're into that shit, which I kind of am, not at this point, not with this bike, but I mean, yeah, I, that shit's dope. I like it. Um, they talk about it a little bit more how. The nubs are a little bigger and blah 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 than the 225s. Oh, and also, uh, if you look here, these first impressions, lone wolf, blah blah blah, single track, bike mag. I like to read some of this stuff, and some of it's kind of BS, like it, I don't, like it, I don't know, maybe it's just a writer trying to fill some words in for the day or something. But some of them are actually like, you can tell somebody put some time in, and there's actual science. In uh, here's the uh, the lone wolf one. You can read that uh, single track one, for example. Then like, and I believe that articles like that is where I read the um, about the slide to grip, and kind of took note of that and was actually kind of dinking around with it. And it, it, it's a real thing with that tire. And I don't think it's just the it's not a rock razor exclusive, but that's kind of why I like to break that down. And, the uh, it, it's not just rock razors. Any tire that kind of has a profile where you have such a drastic change between treads, I think you're gonna get stuff like that. So uh, again, the two four trail boss, um, that tri tech. So that's that tri tech compound where you have the greens and the yellows and blah 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 with the soft and the not so soft and whatever and blah blah blah. Um, you actually don't get that on the 225 versions, uh, just the 24s and 26s. 
And actually, if you look at the tan wall version, you don't get that tri tech technology either. But you do get a hell of light tire. There's 774 for a 2.4. Like, actually, here, we'll just go to this. There's 29, 2.4. That's good, dude. That's good, man. Like, it. I don't know. It's just my opinion, but um, sometimes, or at least for me anyways, I'm not doing Red Bull Hardline or shit like that. I mean, if you look at some of my other videos, I do beat on my tires pretty bad. It's rocky out here in Vegas, but I, I opt for the lighter tire myself. But uh, again, the Slash Guard, now you can get that and the Tri-Tech. But again, you want to take a look at like Keep an eye on your weights here, man. And that's another thing about uh, the Rock Razor is I think they were, gosh, I don't even remember, seven something rated for weight. Uh, other reviews I've seen, people said weigh them because they're like apparently sometimes like 100 grams heavier than whatever. Either way, if they're only eight something, I still, I don't think it would be. That's, that's light compared to some of the crazy tires I see people riding around. Uh, the two sixes again. These ones you don't have the tan walls, but you got all the fancies and stuff, man. Uh, the slash guard, the tri tech, blah blah blah. Uh, this is the the tri tech stuff again, just so you know. This compound over here and these colors up here. This is what that tri tech is. So. Be careful when you're looking at tires too. It's not just WTB's website. There's there's other ones that um, you know. Just be careful what tire you're getting. A lot of times, if you look at a tire like, oh, this tire is really cheap, or what, like, look closer, man. It doesn't always happen. It's not like super super common, but dude, you you can buy a tire and think you're getting something that you're not. Or you know what I mean? It, it, there's a, there's a lot of technology in tires nowadays, and that's another point I'm trying to make in this video. Is like, get in there, man. Start reading. Figure out where you ride, how you ride, and uh, yeah, figure out what's best for you. All right, again, here's the the comp tire thing. So there's all the stuff we just kind of you know the the different kind of tires, and here's the comp tires. And I'm not knocking them, dude, at all. Like, those trail bosses are good. Like I said, I got over 2,000 miles on them. And that front one is still, like, they've been rotated a bunch. The other one, it's pretty much hashed, man. Like, I don't even want to put it on the bike. I should throw it away, but I'm cheap. So I feel like it's worth something, like a couple bucks. So I'm hanging on to it. But, I mean, they lasted a long-ass time, man. And they are good tires. Um, another thing, if you're looking at getting tires or whatever, and like I said, they're going from a 29 wide to a, a 23 wide rim, like, uh, I mean, in general, the tires are going to fit, man. Like, you've got to be going way off the chart, dude, to be having a tire that's unsafe to ride or whatever, but it, it's smart to check. And for me, like, that was, you know, big enough where it's something to look at. You may not have to or whatever, but they're there. Uh, I think later on I have a, a slide of Schwabi's chart, too. Uh, here's another tire. Um, this one I was going to get before the, the Rock Razor. Um, I haven't wrote it yet, so I'm not going to talk much on it, but. As you can see, look at the tread pattern. It's exactly what I'm after. I like that fast rolling in the center and the bite on the outside. Here's just, uh, each tire company, they pretty much all have the same shit. I mean, for the most part, they just have different words for them, different whatever, like the WTD with TCS. It, Tubeless compatible system. This one is just tubeless ready. Again, 
reviews. You can look up these websites. You know, a lot of this stuff, dude, there's a wealth of information, especially on YouTube. So there's no reason you should just buy a tire because it looks cool or because it's the knobbiest looking one or because it's got a certain color on it that it's really, it matches it. Would, like, it's 2021, guys. Dude, like, there's so many tires out there. Don't let anybody tell you it doesn't matter or whatever. Dude, get what's best for you in your area and what you ride. It, it exists. Again, here's another one. Um, I'm not going to talk on it because I haven't ridden it, but again, we're, we're the same pattern. I like this one because it's, it's more of like a bold look of kind of what I, the tire that I'm talking about. So I don't know, maybe in the future we'll, uh, we'll test out one of these two. I think the, the Maxxis one is going to be my next one though, because I really wanted that one before the Schwabi, but, um, <clears throat> the Schwabi had me sold. Just some more information to go with, blah, blah, blah. This is uh, the tire that kind of had me starting to look at Schwabi. I was watching stuff on YouTube. Somebody had this paired with, uh, I don't know, if it, Racing Ralph or Racing Ron. It's, I, I'm not, anyway. Um, yeah, this was the tire that had me looking at Schwabi, so I figured I'd put it in. And here we go. The Rock Razor, dude. This, this tire is a beast. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome tire. Used on very fast and dry trails. I'm going to read a lot of this stuff with this Schwabi tire to you because it, a lot of it has to do like where I live in Vegas, how I ride, what I'm looking for. You know, maybe even if you don't live in the same area as me, maybe you hearing me break down why I got this tire and what it does for me will kind of help you take that next step when you buy a tire instead of just these look cool or whatever. I should I should get these. Uh, this is your picture of it. And I'll stop here and talk actually a little bit since it's a good uh, shot of this tire. So this tire for context, this was on the front for probably like eight or 900 of that like 1300 miles that are on these tires. So um, it got rotated to the back and now the trail boss is on the front. So this has been on the back for a few hundred miles. Um, but yeah, if you look at this, this roll here, this is the, the I-29 rim. So 29 for width the front is the 23 so if you can imagine how much that's going to suck these outer lugs in that's what i'm talking about and that's uh why i'm going to leave the trail boss on the front until i get another rim and again this is all even if you don't have this issue or whatever maybe you have a friend that does or somebody's asking a question about something like this and now you kind of know where to lead them but yeah it's all about uh points of contact with the ground man we're going to get into more of that again i'm going to go farther in depth with this time so the addicts compounds this is what had me sold on schwabi once i started reading around like it you know, a tire's a tire, for the most part, honestly. Like, if you really want to get into it, like, I mean, you know, that's an argument for another day, I guess. But this is for me, I don't know what it is, man. It, it had me, like, you know, I like this. It sounds good. It smells good, you know. If it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. I don't know, so... Um, I'm going to get in, I'm going to break down these Addicts compounds a little bit, uh, more so on the Speed Grip, the one that I bought. So here's a chart on Schwabi's website. It just kind of goes over the tires that they have in Addicts. And this is going to be your harder tire moving over to your softer tire over here. So, like, obviously, as you can see, your Enduro, Downhill, that's 
you know, shredders. They need that soft shit. Uh, and over here, this is where I'm going to be in this blue line. So, and over here on the red, you're, you're looking at even a little harder tire yet. So, here is like Schwabi's standard kind of compound for their tires. So, again, we were looking at WTB earlier. There's just the TriStar or whatever it's called. And, or TriTech, not TriStar, excuse me. They have the TriTech technology. These guys kind of break theirs down into the different stars. So your first one uh, is the Vert Star compound. And this, these, your 100%, this is your base. This is like, if you guys know what I'm talking about, this is what the tire was before the Addix compound, the yellow. So, and when they take these, their formulas, and they try to remake the same tire in the Addict's version, again, you're actually, it's not the triple compound. It's not the, the star version. It's not like the Tri-Tech tires where it's the three. The Addict's is actually like, I don't want to knock it, or correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I understand, um, it's more like the comp tire in that it's kind of like a, like a one material. I, I'm not even going to actually take that back. I'm not going to compare it to the comp tire. But the comp tire isn't your, it doesn't have all the crazy, it's more of an economy tire or whatever. And again, that's a bad way to describe the Schwabi. But the, from what I understand, the Addicts compound is a mix of their secret recipes or whatever. That's basically a one rubber for the tire from what I understand. So again, ultra soft, we don't really need to get into this one too much, but as you can see, you know, you're, as far as testing goes or whatever, they say these are the improvements that they're getting and they list them down here. So Vert Star, that's right in here. So if you look at all these, they're going to have the blue compound down in the center. And that's obviously, that's going to be your hardest compound. That's going to be the one that's the toughest. It's what's holding the tire together along with everything else but um we'll go to the next tire so this is a speed tire they're part of the speed for the addict uh pace star we'll go back to that on the next one now uh addict speed is the compound for xc race specialists it catapults our xc tires into a new performance dimension as said by schwabi so um the red th that's the compound I was looking at originally with the other tire and some of the other ones had the red compound, but the more that I dug into it, I'm trying to figure out like, what do I want out of it here? Like, what do I, you know, how can I get the most bang for my buck? So again, the pay star was that one. So that's the blue down underneath <clears throat> and the yellow and orange on top. And those are mediums. Uh, we'll just read out here. MTB Race All Mountain Compound is the pace star. Super fast with a combination of low rolling resistance and durability. The tire shoulders were made appreciably softer to improve handling on rough terrain. Now this one's the Trail Star Compound. We'll look that up here too. Now look at the improvements on this one compared to the other one. Like that's pretty big, dude. That's pretty insane. And they're getting a lot of it in durability. And this had me really interested because I was like, holy shit. Like look how good this tire is, dude. Like compared to the, the Trail Star Compound, which is already a bad at like it's already good to go, man. It's already schwabby, dude. It's already, you know, it's dope already. So if these tests that they've done, these percentages that they're showing here are true, like, you know what I mean? It's something that, to me, it gets my attention because now you're, like, you're, you know what I mean? You're taking great leaps here in the industry. And I don't want to just, like, there's a bunch of other tire companies out there doing similar stuff, but for me... I'm only going to speak on the Trail Boss and the Rock Razor because that's the two tires I've had on this bike and put a shitload of miles on. And yeah, so um, I don't want to take away from them either. But 
So a trail star compound. Now trail star, this is even softer yet. So, and again, that was the orange compound, not orange here, but the orange addicts. So, um, yeah, it's not something I'm going to need. Um, it sounds cool. It's badass. It's soft. It shows that it has uh, improved rolling resistance and blah, 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 and everything you need. But you can't... Um, I don't think you can get the orange one anymore. I think you used to be able to get the rock razor in orange. I'm not sure. Um, we'll move on though. And here is my tower or tire. So look how big this one is now. Like durability, insane. The grip, insane. This right here is kind of what had me questioning it. Like, wow, maybe I shouldn't get this tire. Like, everything's awesome about it. If you look at the durability, like 162% of the original. Like, that. that's huge, man. That's, that's huge. So, that, it actually, what scared me was this. And the durability was what brought me back. So... Like I said, with the Trail Boss, you know, over 2,000 miles on them, and one tire is still actually, like, I'm not going to say really good, but, I mean, it's good, dude. It's good to go. I'll, I'll ride the shit out of it. So, I want expensive tires. I want really soft tires, but I don't want tires that are going to be done after I ride them six times or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, some of these really soft tires. You, you could spend a lot of money really fast if you're not careful. Right, so we'll, we'll look into this one again here. So um, that was a pace star, I believe. So um, you already, like, here, here we'll, we'll move around. Or no, we'll stay here for a while. So the blue is going to be the hardest. And then the yellow and the orange is right next to it on uh, their list of compounds. So the Paystar is already the hardest tire that you're getting for what you need, basically. So if we want to look down here, the yellow and the orange are getting here, like I said. So that's the Paystar tire. So you have the hardest compound going up to the softest so the rock razor before the addict version is all right up here in this hard compound area you're, well you're getting to the softer area too but the addict compound that adds so much grip so now you're bumped up to i'm going to guess like right up in here you're just getting into the super soft area but it has that huge durability gain so, to me, I viewed that as, so, I can basically get a hard tire right here, like the Paystar version, but when you have the blue, the Speed Soft Addicts compound added to it, like I just showed you on that, like, you're bumping that up into the next bracket now. So, you're getting a really hard tire. That's actually really soft and it lasts a long time and that's hard to believe so I mean that's kind of the reason why I bought the tire it's what they're advertising it's what they're saying it's gonna do uh, a lot of other people that had reviewed this tire have really good things to say about it for how I ride where I ride everything is dry uh, I ride a lot of pavement miles too probably like I'd say like 65, 70% of the miles I put on are on pavement. So the rest of it is generally off-road somewhere. So, you know, I mean, for me, and again, for you too, it's, it's all about finding what you need. But for me, this tire and that addicts compound was what really sold it for me. So again, let's recap. You have the hard compound tire. 
the rock razor with this pay start compound that we looked at. So it's the hardest on their scale. Start starting from hard and going down into medium. So it's 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 the three hardest compounds that they they have for those. So, but then you throw in this addicts compound, the speed grip version, and dude, the durability plus this grip throwing in all that extra cushy softness to me it makes up for this i i i'm not going to say i do or don't feel a difference in it honestly i i'm not going to say the tire feels any slower or faster to me i think a lot of that has to do with your tire pressure i mean if you can feel that subtle of a difference that you're you're definitely way better of a rider than me but for like you're just for me if i'm just putting on straight miles ahead of me i mean maybe the softness of it does affect me and i don't notice it because it's not drastic enough but i mean on paper here from what we're looking at i this is my opinion but i think that the rock razor should technically be slower like in rolling resistance than than the the trail boss but again i wish we could take this yellow line here for the base for the rock razor and now again here's the attics i wish we could throw the trail boss 225 in here somewhere because for all we know the rolling resistance properties of the trail boss could be right here and you know then the rock razor is better either way but you know maybe the trail boss is somewhere similar up here for a rolling resistance and we're actually losing rolling resistance by getting a more expensive tire so i mean it's all up in the air and a lot of this stuff again is just you know i mean wh what do you want out of riding what are you looking for try stuff out test it out get scientific about it um, yeah here's uh schwabi's chart just nothing really don't need to explain anything you know what this chart is but just showing the have one too uh this guy there this is another reason that had me really liking schwabi dude this marcus or uh marcus hawking guy so um where is it at here not only has Marcus Hockmeyer been riding mountain bikes in almost all disciplines for more than a quarter of a century, he's also been the head developer of Schwabi Trends for almost as long, and there's not a tire that he hasn't helped to develop. I just said trends, but treads. Um, so you get that, you get what I'm saying here, dude? Like, I don't know if any of you have worked in manufacturing or uh, whatever company like this dude's been there for over a quarter of a century his hands are on every tire he's been riding bike longer than he's been working there like that says something in itself man and there's always the whole like german technology thing too like throw that in there too man but um to me that's that's a big thing dude. that that really is a huge thing because I've worked with different engineers and random kooks over the people come and go. There's all like it's, you know what I mean? So when you have a company that's got a foundation like that, where dude, that's, I don't know if some, I don't know. Some of you probably don't understand it, but there's a huge value in having people like that at a company that you can go ask a question about something that's from 20 years ago. And they know exactly what you're talking about. They know everything about it. Like that, that's a successful company to me. That's somebody that's going to continue to put out good product. It's somebody that's going to make me trust the product before I've ever even wrote it, which is why I bought these expensive tires in the first place. Um, another thing in here, again, I don't know. And like it, you know, anybody can lie or whatever, but here's a pretty bold statement. We now have hardware throughout our plant that we are using to implement what is currently the most advanced and precise mixing process in the bicycle tire industry. I mean, dude, 
I'm almost going to agree with it. And I don't know everything about all these companies and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I just know for, for again, I, I'll try to ride more tires. And as I do, I'll review them or whatever. But I can only speak on these two for now. So um, out of those two, I mean, dude. Schwab is a beast, dude. It's very sticky too. When you get those tires out of the box, they're literally like sticky. Like the rubber is, is sticky to your hand. It's they're good ass tires, man. All right, so let's recap this. Um, to be a hundred percent honest with you guys, dude, they're almost the exact same tire. Like, if, if you're not pushing it, man, if you're not hustling, if you're not, like, really, you know, like, anybody who runs or bikes or does anything like that, you're battling yourself. And if you're not doing that properly, dude, there's no reason you need to get a Schwabby Rock Raver. Like, buy WTB Trail Bosses as much as you can. You can get them for, like, 40, 50 bucks a piece. They last a long-ass time. Um, I'm not knocking Schwabby, like I'll get the Schwabby, but, um, dude, trail bosses are good tires, man. You can buy two tires for the same price as one rock razor and maybe still have like a couple bucks left over, dude. So there's always that. If, if, again, it's what you're getting out of, of riding. Like what, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to push yourself? Are you trying to set new time scores for yourself? What, what are you doing? And if none of that stuff matters to you, you just want to ride and you want to be cheap. You don't want to be pissing away money on bikes and all this expensive stuff like everybody. Dude, stick with trail bosses, man. They're, they're good tires, dude. That's why freaking half of the bikes that come with them brand new on them, including mine. Um, and now to switch over to Schwabi. If you're going to ask me, like, what's a better tire, just in general, Schwabby Rock Razor, not even a question. Like, no question at all. It, not even, I don't even have to think about it. But again, it goes to what you want to get out of it. And for me, I'm trying to improve my times. So I'm trying to figure out how I can be the best I can be at whatever corner or whatever, you know what I mean? So... Um, dude, the, the Schwabies far superior tire, far superior than the trail box. If you ask me, I mean, just that's kind of my, uh, bottom conclusion on these. And that, I mean, the only way the, the trail bosses are better is the money, dude, that's it. That's the only thing, in my opinion, that the trail bosses have above the rock razors. But if you got the money to spend, and even if you're not trying to do whatever crazy or try to, you know, you just want nice stuff, that's okay too. Get rock razors then. If you want really good tires, and that's, I'm just comparing these two tires right now. So between these two, rock razor but I, I think you guys can hear how kind of torn i am too dude i don't want to take anything away from the trail bosses i know it sounds crazy for how sternly i say rock razors are definitely better but they they have their purpose i think i'm gonna uh i could rant on this all day if i don't uh stop so yeah um i hope you guys like that uh i have a couple more slides i have one product from uh, WTB and one product from Schwabi that I'll talk about. I actually own the one from WTB and uh, the product from Schwabi I'm very interested in and you guys may be too. Uh, if you guys like that, dude, stay tuned. I'll be making more videos. Um, let's move on to the uh, little bonus section. Schwabi Rock Razor takes the W in this video, by the way. All right, that rant is over. Uh, the one item, dude, we'll do the Schwab and these Pro Cores. I'm not going to talk too much on them because this video right here has every single thing you need to know about these. 
just watch that. I don't even need to say anything else about these. Um, especially if you ride a hardtail like me, this is um, <clears throat> something I definitely need to invest in. And for WTB, dude, because I feel like I kind of ragged on the, the core trail bus too much, but I actually own this seat 100% dude, because of this one, this Kona seat, which sucks. I love Kona bikes, but this seat, dude, it, obviously it sucks. From even when it was brand new, but um, a big jump made the seat very uncomfortable, and then uh, a long ass flight of stairs made it unrideable. So <laughs> there's that. Um, yeah, get this seat, dude. If you're looking for a comfy one, I'm dead serious. It might look kind of like nah, it don't even look brown rush at all. Like, go watch my videos. This is the seat I have. Um, I don't wear riding shorts. I don't wear padded underwear. I ride for 40 to 50 miles sometimes. I mean, the majority of my rides are like 14 to 20 miles probably. My ass hurt like a couple times right when I got the bike and that's it. Like, I'm, no bullshit. If you want a good seat, I'm not even gonna say anything else, dude, like that. Get it, dude. I'm dead serious. And if you read down here, actually, the sporty comfort saddle suits recreational and leisure riders looking for a deeply cushioned saddle with broad sit bone support. This is the official saddle of the WTB employee grocery getter cruiser fleet. Dude, that in that alone, that's a standalone by the seat statement right there. Anyways. I got some reviews for it. They're obviously five stars. Look at this big old boy. 245. I'm 200, so like probably 210 with my backpack. So I don't know. It's a good ass seat. Hope you guys enjoyed all of this. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, send me a message or comment or do whatever you guys want to do. Peace.